Hello you guys, this is Sheena again and welcome to my channel. Well today I'm going to take you to a very beautiful place. I'm telling you, you will be mesmerized by the view. You can breathe fresh air, you can feel the cold breeze. Hmm. So far it's my favorite place here. Well ever since COVID-19 started this year, I can really say that Bukid is lifer. It's peaceful, it's safe, it's so much more. Even our kids now love Bukid than malls. So, where is this place? Well, it's in the boundary between Hingong City and Claveria. Welcome to Jello's Bivouac. According to Google, Bivouac means a temporary camp without tents or cover. It is used specially by soldiers or mountaineers. Guys, check out this place. Check out the view. Oh, by the way, that's my Papa Uyan right there. Say hi, Pa. Hi. <laughs> there you go. So actually we arrived here 3 p.m. It's their check-in time and check-out is 3 p.m. on the next day. So it was kind of raining a little bit, but it was okay. So they have here their cottages. And that's the house. That's our home for tonight. There's the dirty kitchen. So come on. Let's check in what's inside our home for tonight. This is the inside. Hi, Mama. So we have here a, a little kitchen. Hi, Te. We have small gas stove here and we have one bed here single or double can be and we have also access to um, to the other beds it's upstairs you can just climb up here so there you go on the floor that's so exciting right Right there you can see people and after a few moments look at that view come on guys who doesn't love fogs personally I really love fogs one of my reason why I love Bukid because of fogs it's very cold So we also um, brought tents. Actually, kasha naman kami sa bahay. But you can also install tents outside, you know, for additional um, additional rooms, rather. So of course, it's picture time. <laughs> So this is around 5 p.m. So after this, we prepared our dinner. Well, not we, me. It um, was Kuya and Papa who prepared our dinner. So look at that view, guys. Look at the mountain. So you can really imagine how cold it is by looking at the fogs earlier. It was really cold, believe me. Okay, this was our dinner. Actually, I was the last one who ate the dinner. 
kasi nagbantay pa ako. Binantayin ko pa yung baby ko, si Lay. So, yun. We do have sinugbang isda, some salad, vegetable salads. Of course, the kids are enjoying the meal. And of course, hindi pwedeng kalimutan ang tagay. So on the next day, I woke up around 5.30 in the morning because I want to see the beauty, this, you know, the sun, uh, the sunrise. There it is, so pretty. That's my daughter, by the way, that's Lei. And the whole family eating our breakfast. The kids enjoying our meal we have here. Corn beef, hi Jael, hi Jadi, and of course, hi Liam. So we had our eggs, hot dogs, and corn beef for our breakfast. And of course, after breakfast, we went to a nearby waterfalls. It's just about 10 to 15 minute walk from, um, from Jello's Bivouac. And the road there, the road going there is fine. It was a little muddy since it, it, um, it rained that last night. And it was really fun. Hindi naman masyadong maputik. May mga area lang. Like yung pababa ng, ano, pababa sa falls dun. Pero okay naman. We are almost there, and the name of this waterfalls, by the way, is Boss Fur. It's Boss Fur Falls. It's privately owned. So ito, ito yung sinasabi ko, na medyo struggle yung pababa, papuntang falls. Kasi steep yung daan. Meron naman hagdan. Pero may part na muddy because of the rain last night. Okay, we're almost there. And we're here. Welcome to Bosfer Waterfalls. Isn't that... A beauty! Wow! Wow! As you can see guys, the water is so clean I actually had a video that I jumped and plunged to the, into the water, pero hindi ko na lang sinale, kasi nakakatawa, nakakatawa talaga. Kasi sobrang lamig, grabe. Hindi ko na at first day. Eh. But if if you gonna stay there and in the water for a few minutes, you get used to it. And ang sarap na maligo. You know. Ayoko, ayoko na nga umahon eh. Kasi sobrang sarap ng tubig. So if nakapunta kayo sa Alibwag, um, Cold Spring in Medina, yung tubig dito, grabe, mas malamig pa doon. Para kang matuturn into ice eh. Gra grabe, sobrang lamig.
Ikan dong. Sa river and falls mga gusto. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Is it cold? <gasps> so anyone knew this? So this is actually called kasag, is it? It's smaller than crabs. I think that's kasag. So we had our lunch. We had um, fried chicken, sinugbang baboy. We have the kasag. And of course, um, kuya Ruroy's bola bola. And of course, it's picture time, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the photos. So, um, really, napakasulit. Sulit na sulit talaga yung stay nyo doon. Kasi it's only 3,500 um, per night. And the capacity of the house is, uh, the maximum is 14 persons, including uh, three years old up kids. And, but, 10 persons lang yung free sa 3,500. So, exceeding 10 would be 200 pesos per person. So, sulit kasi pwede kang magdala ng food nyo para lulutuin. And just make sure, be responsible kasi marami silang plants and flowers. Maganda talaga doon. So, if you have kids, dapat bantayan nyo so that you won't be paying extra charges. Saying goes, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures, kill nothing but time. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and of course comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!